landing on the second coolest street in the world, or at least according to Time Out's new rankings. Yep, Melbourne's own Gertrude Street has taken out the silver medal, beating out the bustling strips of New York and Tokyo and even Paris. But perhaps the most controversial thing is it's also outshone its Fitzroy neighbours, Brunswick Street and Smith Street. Well, here at The Guardian, we are determined to know why. So I'm going deep under hipster cover to get some answers from the locals. Gertrude Street, second coolest street in the world. So, uh, initial thoughts, reactions? I, I'm not at all surprised. It's very surprised. <laughs> yeah. Second coolest street in the world? Yep. Oh, that's pretty amazing, and I, I think Gertrude deserved it. Definitely. Well, I live around here, so yeah, I think it is. I might be biased, but I think it is the best street you could ever find. Initial thoughts? No. No, the co second coolest street in the world. Yep. What's number one? So this is the thing. Oh, here we go. Through Wellington in Montreal. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Thoughts on that? Any message to Rue Wellington? Um, no, I let them have number one. The, the beautiful thing about Goji Street is that it's, um, it doesn't need to, to scream and shout in order to, for it to be cool, I reckon. First of all, your calling got a lot of cool street as well. Like High Street also very cool as well. So I don't know what's the standard of cool streets. I would not like to know why it's second best and what the parameters are. Like, you know, who votes for what's it? What's the criteria you know? of assessment? Yeah. 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 Mm, like, I haven't done much travelling, but I have been living in Melbourne, like, like my whole life and I don't Gertrude Street doesn't even like hit my top like 10 for like good streets. I feel like Gertrude when you go to the street everything is you can see it like you know fine dining here good boutiques uh, independent local business with Smith Street you actually it's hidden yeah there's a few that's good out on the street but then you gotta go look for them you know yeah. turn to a street to look but Gertrude is like pretty much all the treasure is out, you're walking in the street. And you can see a lot of like hipsters, <laughs> like yeah, good looking guys and <laughs> yeah, so I quite like here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's full of boutiques, it's got totally funky restaurants, we're about to have lunch here at Marion's, which we love. Though of course, over time the street has changed radically. I mean, this used to be a street where drug users would be hanging out and it also was a street that had a bit more variety. So. It might be voted the second best street in the world, but it's gone through a radical process of gentrification. I just go to Walkers Club. Oh, this Mexican place down here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forget the name of it. Firstly, grab yourself a coffee. Mm -hmm. So I would go to the little coffee window Calere. I would walk into Pickings and Parry, Heaven and then Hair. I would check out this little this little institution just up the road here called Cottage Industry. Mm -hmm. Grab yourself a cocktail in the in the evening mm -hmm. at the Everly. It's like that's like an institution of like really good booze. Definitely pop into our shop. Uh, we we sell primor, uh, primarily like menswear and stuff like that. So, yeah. so the number one place to go on Gertrude Street is every place on Gertrude. Pretty every every place on Gertrude <laughs> Street. Yeah. Ollie, what 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 are your thoughts on Gertrude? Street. Oh, <laughs> customer loves him. That's that's a high recommendation. Yeah.